location of Fernão Dias, which is famous and actually infamous. Oh, you have only one to see it now, no? yeah. Because in '53, when there were the revolts from Batepa in the center of the island, okay, the Portuguese caught hundreds of people and sent them here as a detention center. And then at the pier over there, after beating them up, threw them in the water. <laughs> to keep the record and then he will take a bucket and get the eggs out of the nest and put them here in the incubation center okay so the incubation center recreates the conditions natural conditions so you're not allowed to enter but you can say yeah, no so uh, the, the incubation center recreates a natural condition of nest. So when you see, for instance, here, here, so we have a tag for the name of the turtle. Uh -huh. We have the date, the 02 of February 2020. And then 130, which means the number of eggs, 130 eggs that were laid. More or less, we have a rate of 80% eggs that turn into baby turtles. Some white and yellow mix, some, some they are dead when they come out, some they have some malfunction. So what's happening in the end of the afternoon is the opening of nest and we check the date. We know that when it's laid on the 2nd of February, more or less around the 2nd of March, this nest will open. The, um, it's between 55 and 65 days depending on the temperature warm faster cold take longer time so this nest for instance was open yesterday already and the goal is to maximize the rate of turtles that survives and goes to the ocean so if the nest opens up at 3 a.m they release it right away in the end of the day like we're doing now it's called the analysis of the nest Sometimes we just have 10 almost dead baby turtles left. Sometimes we have 100 to release. It's really depending on nature conditions. So you see this one is the end of the analysis. And we have some baby turtles here, as you can see. And they may take some time to wake up. They may be the weakest from the nest, the one that were eaten by oaks, by dogs at the time of going out to the ocean. But still, we're gonna try to activate them send them to the ocean maybe they have a chance to move. all right so if we want to touch turtle we're not supposed unless we do a bit cleaning of the hands to avoid any kind of chemical smell anything that will impact them let's see if i take turtle let's see which one is the line yeah see she but she needs a bit you know okay. waking up oh, okay. If I lift her hair like this, she's gonna start moving. So she's gonna be released a bit later at the sunset, all right? Five from this net that were less from yesterday. Now he's doing the analysis of the net behind. And as you can see, 
some of them some of them still inside mixed white and yellow and it looks like a ping pong ball and still soft it's very different from chicken heads okay. Please, Baoji, would you tell me the truth? please, Baoji. Baoji. make a disruption and if you make a disruption then you have big problems you need to keep the harmony let's give an instance uh, this one she hits up to I think 150 to 200 kilograms of jellyfish jellyfish eat fish eggs so if you remove turtles more jellyfish more jellyfish less fish because they eat the fish eggs. so it's also part of the job to explain to people that protecting the turtle is also protecting the area for fishing and 80% of people make a living on fish. Very nice. Now it's forbidden to export it. Now it's forbidden to catch it. You have a fine, you may go to jail. So the law changed, but it happens a few years ago, 2017, I think. So for hundreds of years, people have been used to, hey, it's given by the nature. Let's take it. So now we have to change the habits. So we have species that come around South Tome for fun, for food. But only four of them will lay eggs. So as I said, tattoo is the olive, olive ridley sea turtle. Then we have the green sea turtle, which goes white hand in Portuguese. The ambulancia, which is leatherback, which is the biggest one. And then you have the oxbill sea turtle, tatroga de pent in Portuguese. These four species come and lay eggs in South America. <laughs> Tension here at Fuji, 80,000 bedraggled race fans and the racing grudge match of the decade. And there's Mario Andretti in pole position, James Hunt alongside him. On row two of the grid, there is Nicky Lauda. And on row three of the grid, Jody Schechter from South Africa in the six wheel Tyrrell. Behind him, the rest of the 25 car <laughs>
is now officially confirmed as finishing third here in Japan. That means he is champion of the world. And new world champion, James Hunt, by just one single point. दिलों में तुम अपनी बेताबियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम नजर में खाबों की बिजलियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम हवा के झोंकों के जैसे आजाद रहना सीखो तुम एक दरिया के जैसे लहरों में बहना सीखो हर एक लम्हे से तुम मिलो खोले अपनी बाहें हर एक पल एक नया समा देखी ये निगाहें जो अपनी आंखों में हैरानियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम दिलों में तुम अपनी बेताबियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम